These fall days remind me of growing up in Rochester, New York. I'm Jennifer Croson. Came to New York about 35 years ago and uh, took courses at the Art Students League, was a sculptor, stone carver, and then I went to graduate school, which really had a strong impact on my work today. I've always been interested in photography. Like I wanted to go into that world, bring it back, resurrect it, animate it, bring, bring up a new story. To me, that was, that was so magical about photography. I wanted to bring things to life. And at first, the photography was very autobiographical. I worked with memories from childhood, houses, images, sort of evocative of memories, perhaps childhood anxieties. But then as now I'm interested in also political issues that are going on, social issues. And I this is where I stand is combining the two, combining my personal history with social and political events. I started be becoming interested in this wishbone theme. But here the wishbones are like in this precarious, vulnerable position. And this idea of this magical thinking is absurd. It doesn't exist. So this piece was, it, it, it was interesting because somebody had given me a copy of the most recent Smithsonian. So I photographed it. And then I actually cut the desk out. Now at the same time, I had found all these embroidery uh, wrappers. And I was thinking of, I'm going to put a David Smith sculpture on top of that desk because I love David Smith. For some of my work, I actually purchase stock photo because they're, you know, because the image is so clear and wonderful. So I actually purchased this chandelier, but cut it out, painted it, transformed it. And I also purchased these three chairs. So to begin with, I would put, sculpted this man, a little clay figure, and actually sat him in the chair. Then I would photograph that. I found this uh, image in a vintage life magazine and I just, it was all these men standing in a company parking lot. Wonderful image with this path down the center. So I kind of recreated and I thought, and I wanted to think of a context. I'm going to build a wall for them, a sand wall, a wall that they're going to contemplate, a wall that they're going to pass through. When I think of color in terms of my pieces, it's like, it's like I, a found object. Like I go and find the color. There's no mixing of colors in a palette. The color is another object in the piece. But I also like, I like um, primary colors. I love using orange and blue. I love the very simplistic vibration, very simplistic um, properties it creates.